ESM provides an insurance to our member states, um, and that was very important, and we had to disperse um, enormous amounts of, of loans in early last decade to five countries, mm. and that saved the euro area and um, was very useful. Now that we are not lending, um, I would look at that positively because it means there's no country in the euro area at the moment that has problems um, accessing the markets, quite different from 10 years ago. Yeah. And that's positive. That's what we were working for. And, and I get that. But I would make, maybe take a slightly different interpretation. You've got hundreds of billions of euros available for funding for European uh, countries as well. But, and the reason why that hasn't been tapped, and again, these are my words, and I'm interested in your interpretation, of course, is that because there has been such largesse from central banks, such largesse from the Commission on uh, Common Funding as well, that actually they found it too easy to borrow in many cases at very generous rates. They've had too many grants and loans, which haven't actually necessarily led to fiscal discipline. We had special situations the last few years. We went first through the pandemic. Now we are... Um suffering from the war in Ukraine. Of course, the people in Ukraine suffer most, but yeah. economic consequences of that are felt throughout the world. So that's why macroeconomic policies um, were different um, the last few years than during normal times. Monetary policy will normalize, that's very clear. Um, the speed may be unknown, but the trend is very clear everywhere around the world. The Federal Reserve started, Bank of England, the ECB, follows um, the next few months. We heard that again here from Christine Lagarde. Um, so we come out of a very special situation. And of course, that also made it easier for our member states to borrow. But again, we are a rescue fund. We are there for difficult situations when um, some member states have problems accessing the markets. And 10 years ago, there were five who had problems because they really had um, messed up their macroeconomic situation. There were serious imbalances that needed to be corrected. We don't have that situation now. There's no country in the euro area right now with um, macroeconomic imbalances like we saw in five countries 10 years ago. And that's positive. And that's why a fund like the ESM that's there for emergency is not needed right now. It's positive. The IMF globally has made very similar experiences. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they are in high demand. And then when t times are quieter, they are not. And that's how it is for a rescue fund. We are not in the business of providing loans to member states every year. There's been a lot of criticism over the past decade about Europe kicking the can down the road. It's a phrase we used a lot. But if we consider now it's time to normalise policy, as you say, but we're not normalising fiscal discipline. Their moves are to try and kick out the time frame again to 2024. Is that the wrong move when all the ministers have been talking about monetary and fiscal policy moving in the right direction? Should we also get back to normalising fiscal discipline? Yeah, so this kicking down the road, I think, was a very popular expression a few years ago. I think during the last few crises, Europe has demonstrated that we are able to act quite quickly. And also markets are impressed by that. It's good. I think the reputation of the euro area today in the world, I was in Singapore last week on a roadshow, it's um, so much better than a few years ago. And that has a lot to do with our crisis management. Our crisis management has become better. Maybe we needed some practice and we had more practice than we wanted um, the last um, few years. On the fiscal side, we do see um, fiscal adjustments. The deficit this year will be much smaller than last year. Um, and I think it would not be advisable to move much, much faster. Um, we do have now clear recommendations from the European Commission that next year basically the fiscal stance should be neutral. Um, but that means, given what happened the last few years, where we needed a lot of fiscal action, that deficits in a number of countries will still be above the famous 3% of GDP. Um, but the trend is very clearly downwards. Um, and we had a good fiscal situation when COVID-19 happened. 2019, no country um, had deficits above 3% of GDP. So that was a solid, good starting point with the pandemic, with the economic consequences of the war in Ukraine, it was unavoidable to, to take fiscal action and run larger deficits, but we are on the way back.